Today I am going to talk about innate immunity. And as you know that innate immunity is a basic immunity we born with. And it comprises or composed of four barriers. The first barrier, the first barrier is an anatomic barrier. This is composed of skin from outside and as you know that the skin is an immune organ as the pH of the skin is between 3 and 5 and this does not allow microorganism to grow and from inside is a mucus a mucus membrane and this mucus prevents infection and prevent orientation of microorganisms. However, some exceptions are available. For example, the avian flu that can break through the mucous membrane. The second barrier is physiological barrier. And as you know that the pH of the stomach is low and this acidity interfere with the infection if someone in just ingested in, 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 in infected or contaminated food the third barrier is the inflammatory barrier and as you know the inflammation or inflammation is an immune response but however it is an augmented and injurious immune response and three major events are responsible for this inflammation and these major events are increased capillary permeability, vasodilatation and influx of cells and as can be seen here cells for example neutrophils they come out to the area of bacteria and fight with them and this will result in formation of buzz. These major events will lead to hotness, redness, swelling and tenderness as the area of inflammation. The force or the barrier number four of the innate immunity is vagocytic barrier and an example for that barrier is a granuloma. So here, for example, this macrophage now ingests the bacteria.